This is for all y'all fire Adam Gaze fans right here. Because I know this is what's going to come up in the next couple of weeks. Because it's, it's been going on for the past the past two seasons how we should just fire Adam Gaze because of the fact that he is just not the Miami Dolphins coach of the future. Now, as you know, Mike McCarthy got fired Sunday night after the Arizona Cardinals lost. So I already knew. This, this this probably was going to be like I said the upcoming thing that everybody's going to be sitting back and talk about. What about what about Mike McCarthy to Miami? I'm sorry, I'm I'm still going to be pro Adam Gaze. We're going to talk about Adam Gaze in a second, but I'm going to focus on Mike McCarthy. Um, before he became the head coach of the Green Bay Packers, he's an offensive coordinator with the San Francisco 49ers and the New Orleans Saints. Started with the the Green Bay Packers in 2006. Had six NFC North titles, nine nine playoff appearances, has 125, 77, and two record. Won the Super Bowl in 2006. One thing, a couple of things I wanted to re- really mention as far as Mike McCarthy. His record against the New England Patriots is one and three. Against the Jets, two and one. The Bills, two and two. The Baltimore Ravens, two and one. The Pittsburgh Steelers, one and three. Reason why I bring up the the Patriots, the Jets, and the Bills record against them is because if he does this, if they if we do actually pull that trick, which I highly doubt, is I need I need to know what the resume looking like as far as his record against our AFC East rivals. Now, one of the things I, I really wanna I really wanna look at is the fact that where, where, where's the defensive rank since 2013? Defensive rank 25th, 14th 2014, 12th 2015. 21st 2016 26 2017 and this current year 2000, 2018 17th and this is points allowed to be honest with you yards per game really doesn't matter to me it all comes down to points allowed to me to be honest with you um but of course like i said they won the super bowl in 2000 2010 the defense as far as points allowed was ranked second um as far as the problem in miami i really do not think it is adam gaze like i mentioned many 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 times Obviously, Adam Gaines' record is 21 and 22. But one thing I realized today, looking at it, Ryan Tannehill's pa- uh, passer rating has been 90, 98.4 in 2016. And so far this year, it has been 93.5. If you look at Mike McCarthy, the two quarterbacks that he has had over his over his tenure with the Green Bay Packers have been Brett Favre and Aaron Rodgers. That's good. That's, that's it. Now, to be honest, I don't think Brett Favre was a good quarterback during his tenure. But hey, everybody sees Brett Favre differently. I, that's just how I feel. Now Aaron Rodgers, he's transcended. He's probably I'm gonna go ahead and say he's the greatest quarterback of all time that I have seen. I'm sorry, that's just me. Now, like I said, if if Greg McCarthy ends up going to a different team like Miami, I want like really, do you really think that he can turn whatever quarterback they have on their roster, or go out and draft a quarterback and make them? you know do make them do somewhat of a good job of you know a playoff type make it make them a playoff type team i doubt it um plus i just think that i just think mike mccarthy maybe just passed his time really just thinking about it like i said one of the i think the probably the biggest issues with the miami dolphins over the over the course of the years has just been they just been they just haven't been they had just haven't been going out and actually paying the money to pay some of these key positions for example, the offensive guard position. When was the last time we had an offensive, uh, an elite offensive guard, or let's say a top fifteen rush, rushing attack? Uh, also, on the defensive side, which is this is very, very important, very, very important. Honestly, I think we just have to have a lack of veteran leadership on the defensive side of the ball. Now we have a lot of young, not a lot of young players on our defense. Um, the last time that our the Miami Dolphins defense was actually relevant in the top 15, in the top 15 at least, that was probably back in the Carlos Dansby days and the Kevin Burnett days, the Aiken Adele days, uh, Randy Starks, Paul Solia, and all those guys. Like that's, that's like lead to the next point. Like in that interior defensive front, there's no there's no premier run stuffer in the two defensive tackles positions. There's no premier run stuffer. Same thing with the middle linebacker position. I'm not sold on Raekwon McMillan so far this year. I'm not. I'm not. A, I'm not a big, huge fan, to be honest with you. I'm not. In, I'm not impressed. He don't. He, he ain't. He ain't making no. 
eye popping, eye popping, uh, eye popping, uh, stats to me. To be honest with you. So with this, with all that being said, I look at, I look at Mike McCarthy and Adam Gaze. I think I'll be better off with Adam Gaze because the opportunities, like I keep saying, are, have been there as far as the Miami Dolphins offense. We just haven't sit back and capitalize on them because of a, of a hold, a holding penalty, or a a miscommunication on the offensive line. Like I keep saying, the offensive line just hasn't been holding up since Brian Tannehill's been there. But if I would, if I was to pick, if there was ever a quarterback to sit back, uh, not a quarterback, a head coach that was sitting on the market, which is Bill Belichick and Andy Reid, I would pull the trigger on that. But as far as Mike McCarthy goes. He he, I, I I strongly feel he is not he is not the answer. I only really think he's a big upgrade from Adam Gaze, to be honest with you. But uh, let me know what you guys think. You know what it is. If you enjoy the content, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. This is great one, Devore. I'm up out of here.